Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am swatching the Giordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Colors. Um, if you want to hear my thoughts about it, then keep watching. But if you want to skip ahead to the swatches, I will put a time right here for you to skip forward to. Uh, if you just want to see that part, because I know some people just like that. But if you want to hear my thoughts on it, here they are. Um, uh, overall, I think they are wonderful. Um, I have 12 of the shades. There's 18 total, so there's six shades I don't have. Um, when I went to Walgreens, this was all the shades they had, and it wasn't like they were out of some shades. They just carried 12 shades for some reason. Um, I don't know if the other six shades, if you have to get them online or if you can find them in other stores, but I am going to get them and do another video just watching those, so stay tuned for that. Um... But the shade range is really good. If you like neutrals, they have a ton of really pretty neutral nude shades, ranging from really light to pretty dark. Uh, so basically, any skin tone that you are, you should be able to find something you like. Um, the one thing that I felt was missing was like an orange shade when I first bought these, but it turns out that... Um, when I got online and seen that there were six more shades, there is an orange one. So I'm really excited to get that one especially. Uh, but I really do like the shades that I have here. Um, they are very matte, very long wearing, transfer proof. Um, I did wear one the other day. Um, it was Current Jam. And it's one of the darker shades. And it actually, it wore pretty good. Um, when, when I went to go eat, I was eating something pretty greasy, um, so it did start to wear it down, and I didn't end up taking it off because it started to get a little bit patchy, but sorry, it's a train outside. I live very close to train tracks, but anyway, um, it started to get a little bit patchy after I ate, so I did take it off because it was kind of a dark color, and it was sticking to some dry patches because my lips are super, super, super dry right now, um, which isn't their fault, so I mean pretty much anything is going to stick to it. Just regular lipstick was going to stick to it because they are so dry. The weather here has been crazy. It was actually snowing earlier today. But anyway, um, I love the consistency. I love the applicator. It kind of has a small uh, doe fit applicator, but it has like a little dip in it that holds the product. So it makes for a really easy application and it kind of has that point on the end so it makes it really easy to get a straight line without having to use a lip liner. Um, this is my favorite color, it's the one I'm wearing. Um, this is uh, uh, Cherry Cobbler. It's the last one that I swatched because um, I knew it was the one I was going to want to wear today so I put it as the last. Um, there was a little bit of inconsistency with some of the formulas. It was with Current Jam. Uh, sweet Marsala wine and which one? Where's the other one? And Molten Chocolate Cake. Kind of these dark browny purple shades. Well, this one's just straight up brown, but these two are like purple. These, they're not bad, um, but you do kind of have to dip your um, doe foot back in and go over a second time while it's still wet to really cover your lips because they will poke through. Um, but these were the only three that I seen do that. Maybe a little bit with red velvet cake because it is pretty dark, but not, not as bad. Um, now I have pretty big lips, so it takes a lot to cover them anyway. So if you have smaller lips, you may not have to do that. But even with some of the nude ones, like I would just dip back in and kind of go over it anyway because I have um, uh, pretty, pretty full lips. My baby's knocking everything over. Um, okay, so anything else I need to say? Oh, they are very, very hard to get off, which is a good thing, but by the end of the video, my lips are like, they feel like I took sandpaper to them, and I started getting joker mouth really fast, especially once I started getting into these like reds and purpley shades. It started like spreading because I was having to rub so hard to get them off, which is a good thing if you're just wearing them but not so great when you're trying to swatch them. So definitely long wearing and they stay in place. So like I said, I was eating greasy food the other day when I had this one, so it did start to break it down, but that's gonna happen with anything. But yeah, I highly recommend them. Um, they are $4.99 at Walgreens, but I did get them for $3.99 because there was a coupon. I'm not really sure how much they are online. I need to check that. But anyway, I will link a, a link down below where you can get these. And yeah, I, like I said, I highly recommend. I think they're definitely worth the money. 
very uh, low price compared to other liquid lipsticks and to be honest I think they're just as good they are a little bit drying but um, probably comparable to like a um, uh, Kat Von D maybe probably the same amount of dryness as those and I know some, pe some people don't like those because they say they're too drying so just keep that in mind it doesn't bother me they do kind of have like a moussey texture but I, I mean I like that so I really really like them and that's pretty much everything so I think I cover it all but now let's just get into the swatches
watching guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you've tried these and what you think. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything. So I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.